Hey guys, it's Duke Dude here. I know it's been a while since I've uploaded anything on the channel. Yeah, sorry about that, but hey, even I needed a summer vacation. <laughs> I am an English teacher after all. Anyway, um, I figured, well, since this dropped just recently, I might as well just do a, a react video on it. I don't know if it's worth it, but this just came completely out of the blue. I was in the middle of a, of a meeting you could say with you know getting preparations ready for the uh, for the upcoming school year then I see this on Twitter but this kind of surprised me um, I don't really know much about what's going on at this point all I know is that supposedly it's Hyrule Warriors and I'm already familiar with Hyrule Warriors I played it on the Wii U I recommend it by the way but this is kind of like completely off it completely threw me off guard that this type of announcement would come out not even in a direct of all things, which is unusual. So, let's see what this is all about. Hmm. Hello everyone, I'm Eiji Aonuma, the producer of The Legend of Zelda series. We mentioned in the June 2019 Nintendo Direct presentation that we had started development on the sequel to The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Many people around the world are still playing Breath of the Wild, so I'd like to thank you all from the bottom of my heart. Everyone, game is amazing thank though. Thank you so much. Regarding the sequel, in order to make the vast world you enjoyed exploring in the original game even more impressive, the team is working hard on its development. So you'll have to wait a bit longer before we can provide more updates. In the meantime, we've prepared a different way for you to experience the world of Hyrule, and we have a video to introduce it. Please take a look. The history of the royal family of Hyrule is also the history of Calamity Ganon, a crime on the that has endured over the ages. Yep. That's Breath of the Wild, alright. Ready to hear what happened 100 years ago. So, yeah, it serves as a backstory taking place 100 years before Breath of the Wild. Oh my god. Keep in mind. I've only seen like images on Twitter, but I never really got to see the entire video up until now. Oh wow. Mifa or Bosa. All the champions back in action. Honestly, why didn't they just make a direct and announce it there? This was so under the radar. Okay, hold up. Like I said, first off, Hyrule Warriors. I recommend the game. Maybe even the, the Deluxe Edition that's currently on the Switch. I don't have it personally. Love to check out that version, but I played the version on the Wii U and it's really good. Sure, it may be a um, Dynasty Warriors clone, practically. It is made by Kuwait Tecmo. It's just a pretty much like a hack and slash type of strategy game. I mean, I, I played it. I liked it. I know some friends that don't really like enjoy the whole repetitive nature of the Dynasty Warriors franchise. I can understand it, but it's pretty much part of the Zelda lore at this point. I mean, and, and what I find. I find it funny. This game is canon. Hyrule Warriors. Age of Calamity. But the original Hyrule Warriors is non-canon? I call BS on this. I'm sorry. I mean, if that's the case, you might as well canonize the original. I don't know. Not against it, though. just saw is the game that Koei 
Midway Techno Games is developing. The Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity. This game takes place 100 years before the events of The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. In that game, the great calamity that occurred 100 years prior was mentioned, but the actual event itself wasn't shown in full. In this game, you'll be able to experience the events of the great calamity. So now, I would like to It explains in more detail that whole scenario. Mr. Hayashi to join me here. Hello everyone. I'm Yosuke Hayashi from Koei Techno Games and the producer of this game. Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity began when Mr. Aonuma approached us saying, I think it would be interesting to create a Warriors game telling the story of the Great Calamity. What do you think? The battles between the Kingdom of Hyrule and Calamity Ganon would complement Warriors style gameplay against large armies. Makes total sense. The previous Hyrule Warriors game it was so all over the place, but so much fun. Broke these conventions entirely, and perhaps it's the same for everyone here. But for someone like me, who's been playing Zelda games for a long time, this was an extraordinary experience. It's a new, special title for me. There's just so much to do in that game. Unlike the previous Hyrule Warriors games, Hyrule Warriors: Age of Calamity is developed by a close with the Zelda team every step of the process, including gameplay direction, graphics, world, and all dialogue. And while we maintain the distinct gameplay style of the Warrior series with exciting 1 vs. 1000 battles and a wide variety of playable characters, this became the only game that could experience the world 100 years prior to the events of the Legend of Zelda and Breath of the Wild, the first game. It's interesting how they just took this, this tangent all of all things. Thank you, Mr. Hayashi. During the development of the previous Hyrule Warriors games, I was impressed with how the Warriors development team, led by Mr. Hayashi, had a deep understanding of the Legend of Zelda series. This time around, they made it possible to create this new experience by combining the well-detailed world of Breath of the Wild with Warriors gameplay. Therefore, I believe this game will offer the experience of the Great Calamity battles that weren't fully shown in the original game. I hope that both those who played the previous Hyrule Warriors games and those who played The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild can experience this game. Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity will launch on November 20th. It's just, what, two months away? Thank you for your continued support for The Legend of Zelda and this game. You should have saved this for a direct. And I just keep things under the radar. I love the idea. I love the concept. Practically going like uh, almost like the whole three houses thing or the three kingdoms, which was pretty much originated with the whole uh, Fire Emblem story. But yeah, I mean the whole Dynasty Warriors concept of like constant battles. Yeah, it uh, it deviates from the traditional Zelda exploration concept of going through like dungeons and overworlds and just fighting vinyl bosses kind of makes you wonder if they're actually going to change uh, the, the aspect of Zelda after this I mean I love this idea I love this concept but just canonize the original for god's sakes hang on a sec I'm going to make sure if, uh, if I didn't miss out on anything else Let's see what was the other one that uh was uploaded. The history of the royal family. Yeah, again, it's the trailer. Is also the history of Calamity Gala. But this news was just surprising. I, I wish I could have uploaded this sooner, but man. I think you are now ready. Ready to hear what happened 100 years ago. No, this is pretty much the separate trailer. I was expecting like a little more information in regards to it, but uh, yeah, it's pretty much the same thing. So it's it's basically Breath of the Wild's um, art style mixed in with the gameplay of Hyrule Warriors, Dynasty Warriors. Yeah, it helps expand the lore. I can tell you that. What 
those guys are freaking monsters. I just can't stand them. The giant centaurs are just horrendous to, to fight against. I guess we're having the Divine Beast as well. Yeah, the whole thing is just a, a huge backstory that helps explain the war that occurred in the past and why Link ended up in a hundred year slumber. I must protect everyone. Oh wow. Don't really know what else to say, but uh, I welcome it. Next update, 926. There's gonna be more information. There's gonna be more information sooner in regards to it. So this is gonna be very interesting. I have to look forward to what else you're gonna say regarding uh, that and uh, the uh, the actual sequel to Breath of the Wild. That is, if there is one. I'm not really sure if there is gonna be one. But um, yeah, I keep insisting. One, just canonize the original Hyrule Warriors already. Two, what's wrong with directs nowadays? Why are you trying to keep things under the radar? Is it because of the whole review bombing or, or the, the, the dislike bars and people are getting overhyped? Again, that's not Nintendo's fault. That's usually Twitter's fault. They're the ones that are constantly spreading these crazy rumors left and right. And they're, they're overhyping people for the wrong reasons. But anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. Definitely looking forward to this. Hopefully if I get the opportunity to check it out. By the way, I, I don't have a, a Switch of my own just yet. I still have the Wii U. However, my niece does have the Switch. And I have played Breath of the Wild on both consoles. So we'll see if there's a possibility to actually get uh, you know, Age of Calamity uh, sometime in the future. Once it comes out. Because I know my niece is a big Zelda fan. I <laughs> practically got her into it. But, uh, yeah, I mean, we'll see what happens. I we just have to wait for the next update. I mean, this just came out of the out of the blue. But anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll uh, see if I can make more content later on. I know I've kind of stalled things. I was kind of burnt out this whole um, dur during this whole summer. Mainly because of uh, my, my current job as a teacher, which, by the way, I've been almost... Like, as of tomorrow, I would be practically working for an entire year, right? You know, count, counting tomorrow since I started uh, September 9th. So yeah, it's roughly like one year. And it it was quite a drastic experience for me. But uh, anyway, I did need a break from all that. And I know I kind of put things on hold in the channel, so I apologize for that. Regardless, I will continue making more content. I have been dabbling on a, on a few other things here and there. Excuse me. And I'll hope to see you in the next one, the next video. I'll keep you guys posted when I make any more updates, because I do have some ideas that I want to work on, but uh, you know, because of my job, uh, it's crunch time, basically. So I have to find a way to like juggle this channel and then juggle my actual job. So we'll see what happens. Anyway, until next time, take care and protect yourselves. Remember, wear the mask. Wear a mask at all times when you're going out. See ya.